Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Wreck Tonight. Now I picked this figure up from 80's Toys of Princeton, West Virginia, so not only did I add a brand new bot to my collection, but I also shopped locally. So taking a quick look at Wreck Tonight in the packaging, you've got him there in robot mode, and there he is with some wild artwork there in both robot mode and dinosaur skeleton mode. Well, I guess that's a robot mode. I can't wait to hear or find out the story behind these fossilizers. They are pretty weird. On the back of the box, we got Rectonite in robot mode, Triceratops mode, and it shows all the pieces and parts that he can become. Side of the box, Kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's crack open Rectonite out of his packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Ractonite all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with a trading card, and the one I got with Ractonite is Dinobot. You got Dinobot here in robot mode. Peel the decal back. There's Dinobot once again in robot mode, looking like he's about ready to bring the pain. So, pretty cool Dinobot card. Ractonite also comes with this tail weapon section that I almost threw away. You've got to watch this weapon. This is not attached to the figure in the package. It's actually underneath the insert. So I'm messing with Ractonite. I'm realizing I'm missing this piece. Went digging in the trash and found it. Fortunately, we didn't take the trash up yet. So watch for this piece. And of course, you've got Ractonite himself. Now, Ractonite is a weird looking bot, but I like him. I love the paint scheme on the guy. The weathered bones look really, really good. The head sculpt looks great. I love the red eyes and the red eyes right there in the dino skull. I mean, he looks really, really cool. Dig that weathered paint scheme. I wish they had the weathered paint applications here on these horns up top. And of course, the tail weapon. Now you can take the tail weapon here and attach it to the peg on his hands. And that's about my one real complaint with the figure. The hands are just pegs. Now in the artwork, these pegs are depicted as blasters, which looks cool in the artwork, but kind of lame on the figure. Now articulation for the guy, his head is on a ball joint, can look up and down, do a complete 360. The arms can do a complete 360 as well. There is a rotation at the elbow there's an elbow bend there is peg rotation if you will no wrist rotation but little pegs can move up and down the waist complete 360 legs up back out in knee bend and ankle rotation of course this figure is a modular figure and as all the modular figures go there's lots of articulation because well everything just pegs in. 
Now, this being a modular figure, you can kind of change the looks up for the robot mode. Now, this arm can actually extend out, but I don't like that. But the way I like to display mine is remove the arm section here, take the skull off, and then I put this section up top, and then tab that together. So now the skull is actually the hand. And that way you can give this hand the spear. And so he doesn't have those dumb peg hands. I mean, it's a little weird looking, but hell, these fossilizers are weird looking anyway. And I dig it. I like this look for the guy. Now, transformation for Ractonite is pretty simple. You just take him apart. Go ahead and remove the arms and remove the hip section with the legs. Tuck the, or fold this section down here on the head. Now we're going to take the arms here with the pegs, pull these off those sections. I mean, you got all kinds of pieces and parts here. Get the sword off. So these sections right here that were the hands, these are going to peg in right here on the front of the rib cage. You see a little Predacon symbol right there. Let's see. Make sure the gaps are on the inside. So you've got that. Take the skull, attach that to the front like so. Then we've got this section here. Let's see. Unfold this. This was the other arm. You got the spinal column. You're going to attach that right there. Then you've got the legs. Of course, they're all attached as one piece. And you'll just peg this in right there under the tail. And now you find the tail sword. Peg that in the end. And there you've got Ractonite in dinosaur mode. Now, according to Wikipedia, this dino fossil is a Staracosaurus. At least I think I spelled that right. Everybody thought it was a Triceratops at first, but it is not. You can tell by all the different horns along the crest. And the fossil mode looks really good, aside from the bright white there on the tail tip and the bright white there at the top with those horns. I love the red eyes. It looks really cool. I mean, this is an awesome looking dino fossil mode. I dig it. That's my favorite thing with the fossilizers. I think their fossil forms look great. Paint applications, spot on. I showed a little purple Predacon logo there earlier. You got the red eyes, you got a blast port right there inside the mouth. And look at the details on the skull. You got the teeth right there. That looks awesome. They did a really, really good job with this dinosaur mode. And here we have Rectonite with fellow modular fossilizer Paleotrex. These skeleton modes look awesome together. It's like having a mini Smithsonian in your collection. Now, of course, the other fun feature of the fossilizers is they can turn into weapons for other bots. So you just go ahead and completely take the figure apart like so. And then you can actually let your imagination go wild with your other kingdom figures. Here we have Huffer in one configuration with bone armor, spikes over his shoulder, and a massive sword. Huffer once again wielding another sword and war club. And my personal favorite, this giant war hammer. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Ractonite with Kingdom Megatron, fellow fossilizer Kingdom Paleotrex, and Kingdom Vertebrake. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Ractonite is a really cool figure. I don't know what it is, but I love these fossilizers. I cannot wait to see if their story gets fleshed out, <laughs> if you will, to exactly explain why these guys are what they are. I mean, are they robots or just somehow reanimated fossils of dinosaurs? So I cannot wait to see 
how these guys have become what they are. I mean, I think they're really interesting and they have a lot of playability. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Rectonite. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Rectonite belong in your collection? Well, that depends. These may not appeal to basic Transformer collectors because, well, they don't look like a Transformer. But they are so much fun. I really didn't think I'd like these guys at first, but they've really grown on me. Especially now that I'm seeing online where you can buy two or three of the same figures, you know, to army build. And you can combine them to just create some monstrous looking figures. So I think I'm going to get a couple more of him and Paleo Trex because I've seen some awful looking bots online. Now I do want to point out that in the instructions it shows that this horn right here on the nose can come off of Ractonite in order to add to the weapons you can design. That's not always the case. It's really hit or miss with these figures. Some have removable horn on the nose and others it's glued on. Mine unfortunately is glued on. So be aware, don't force it because if it's a glued on horn, you will rip it and break it and ruin your figure. I've seen that post on Facebook as well. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!